I always felt bad for saying I hadn't seen him. But that's kind of an unwritten rule in the world of pool. In the old days, when a pool player went missing, it was a simple matter of the woman finding out where the nearest pool table was, and that's where he would always be. Women would come up to me all the time, and they would ask me if I'd seen them. But today, I really hadn't seen him. I don't know where he is. He's just, he's just gone. It's been exactly a year since the first case of coronavirus was discovered somewhere in China. No one paid it a whole lot of attention until somewhere near the end of March, where pool rooms and poker rooms all over the country just slammed their doors and shut down. And we were just had our worlds obliterated and were left outside standing in the rain. And then they tried to reopen. But it was, it was kind of, everything had changed. It was, it was too late. And then everything just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And today it's, it's playing pool is like visiting a morgue. No one's there. The secret to pull is in coming to terms with why you're playing this game. Some people really, really obsess on the game, and then other people just don't understand that obsession. Pool is not really a game that you're playing against a table or an opponent. It's a, it's a game we play against ourselves. It's the process of attempting to overcome one's own mental and physical limitations. And once we're able to do that, we can say we won. And the power, the power in that is, is like doing 5,000 lines of cocaine, only better. It's, it's, it's a massive addiction, and it's an incredible challenge. And sometimes we lose, in fact, we lose often. But in those times that we win, it's not the opponent we're beating, it's ourselves that we're beating, that we're overcoming, that we refuse to allow ourselves to be limited by. Almost every day now, I'll run into an old friend, or I'll get an email from an old friend, or I'll get a phone message from an old friend, and, I, and 
it's it's been going the same way day after day after day and they'll tell me about one of my old friends or one of our mutual friends that is no longer with us because they they went out and they against all odds found some damn pool table in some damn backwoods town and and they stayed up all night drinking and gambling and doing what they do at the risk of their own lives just for that understanding that they won that they overcame the odds and they beat their own mental and physical limitations and he's not here no more he's gone man I haven't seen him